I like Liquid again. I think what is the most important thing for them is that Bat Rider gets to lane against the Necro. If they can manage to ensure that, I favor their laning phase, and it's Liquid with Io Sven. So off to a good start in the lanes, and Liquid will get this game. This time they are not on a timer like last time. Level 20 Lion Eggs. Let's go. <laughs> I believe in Yapsor. Let's see. You ready? Yeah. It's a good matchup versus the Bat Rider. You can just not have to worry too much about your laning phase. And you can kind of see that. Secret are willing to leave that Juggernaut alone because Puppy and Yapsor have combined their powers together to battle up against Kuro. But Kuro does have the assistance of GH. He makes a deadly duo. Kuro is going to go for a charge away, but the Void is going to be able to stop him. Oh no, well, Kuro, he oversteps his bounds as the Spirit Breaker frontliner and ends up going down to Team Secret of early first blood. And the good news right now for Secret is that it's gonna stun here. GH might just be in trouble. The blast not gonna hit GH here. Ooh, that blast connects, but Puppy is really a lot going of damage for right now. Miracle. Yeah, and Miracle just tanking a bunch of He's waiting of for the right tether place. forward, and now the tether does come as the charge comes through, but Puppy's not immediately able to jump on a GH like he was hoping for. Vada pops a fairy fire, gets a little bit more damage out, managed to get the threat oh, fight on himself. He's running away. They Kuro, got he's actually one step ahead. He gets the healing self off. That is beautiful play from Vada. Transformed into an off laner, and what a beautiful play here in this game three. Trying to set up creeps. I thought for a second he was going to last hit. There's the rupture one. play on the mid one. The TP's coming in from the lion. Those disables combined with the tower is going to make it a little bit difficult, but the charge coming in. Nice. He managed to get the hex off before the charge actually hits mid one and would have bumped him back. And now Kuro's quite low. He actually go goes for the TP out. Both GH and Matumba, Matumba Man are dangerously low. Matumba Man's trying to get these kills in order to stay alive, but he's not going to make it. Puppy gets the void just in time. A two for one trade off to the favor of Secret. Yeah, and they did not expect Necrophos to oh, and even level more. Five skill that and Miracle. They do get that big nuke, but it's not quite enough. Fada does have vision, but he's not going to be able to make it out of here. The charge onto him. They're just going to try and run him down. Yeah, and just going to deal hammer. a lot of damage here. So he's going to be run down. Fada seems like uh, got a little too aggressive on a miracle. Just barely shy of that kill, too. In his absence as secret. Full rotation coming up. Yeah, and I think they're going to be pretty happy with this laning phase so far, although... Bot is going to get gone on right as the supports are here, so they could turn this around if he gets to the crept eye off as well as the sun. That's a beautiful setup. Bot turns around, managed to get a big nuke off, and now Ace is here as well, so the Sven's going to be in big trouble. Ace is just hoping to be able to he's get got the slash off. He doesn't even need it. He's just going to go ahead and get the spin kill. Curl, he's going to have to run himself away from this one. A full retreat. One tower and Liquid repelled once again from this bottom area as the rupture comes on. Yeah, they just saw a lot of heroes, so they feel comfortable going for this mid lane kill. Mid one does have TPs ready to help him out. He's going to go for the TP out. Krem fights here as well, but the charge is going to be able to stop that TP. Ace comes in. They've got the Reaper Scythe. They have enough damage. Maybe no, but GH mitigates it just enough that he's not going to be able to die, but the Blast finishes off both of them. Looks like the Necrophos caught inside the last hole, but it's not enough either. He doesn't burn it underneath the Firefly. Now GH is going to be caught as well. Decrepified Blast and Ace, an easy double kill for him. The top. Mind control goes for the TP out right next to the creep wave, so feeling comfortable that Ace, who didn't actually have Omni Slash, out of mana. Yeah. And now Nighttime Puppy, level 6, making his way forward. G8. Yaps are coming in. Maybe they can kill Sven here. Oh, they definitely can. They've got a huge burst of magic damage coming in with the Reaper's Sight. GH, who didn't have his level 6 to be able to relocate his buddy out, is also going to be caught here. Tried to go for the tether, but got silenced up right as Puppy came in. Yapsor is able to finish him off with a finger of death. A charge. Now, Secret do have to be careful, right? They can't split up at all because you've got a both a Spirit Breaker and a Bat Rider into a relocate, which is exactly what's going to be happening here. The top lane, see if they get this enough fast enough that they're not. The spin goes off. Ace is going to try and get some distance away from Miracle, but he's got the tether extra movement speed, so he should be able to catch Ace anyway. A good setup for a kill there for Team Liquid. And not. They're not going to head back to bottom lane. Porch GH is going to be left to die there. Reaper okay. Scythe, okay. Somebody had to die for that, but. Still, very nice pickup. I thought that... Make the initiation, because between the Blast and Ace having this Aegis freely hitting that Tier 3, they're going to take that Tier 3 and open up Shrines, and I don't think Liquid could afford to let that happen this early on in the game. Yeah. I guess it depends on if Yapsor is fast. If Yapsor can catch the Batrider as he blinks in, there's no Force Staff available on Mind Control, mm -hmm. so it's not easy for him to get out. And now Puppy... Oh, they're even going to get the burn on the Mind Control, so this is a free push forward from Ace. Gonna try and put Sven on the front lines though. Ace goes ahead and throws down the spin. 
Mata, more damage out. Mata is taking a lot of damage from this rupture. The combination, they are going to grab him even. Take that one pick off. Now the Amaslash bounce around. He's going to get a Reaper Scythe kill onto a Spirit Breaker, but they don't really care. Liquid, they've lost their hard fight position. That they will continue to take this fight. Ace does have another spin to be able to run himself out of this one. Mid one's trying to slow him down with Ghost Shroud as well. Mike Control went low. for the back line. They managed to get the healing ward out. A stun goes on to Ace though. Trying to finish him off with the physical damage. Mike Control took out the healing ward. GH is going to be pursued out though. He goes down. Necropost is big and he's going to get a lot of damage over time but all of these heroes miracle turns and fights though he managed to get the big kind kill gh with the buyback comes and relocate in to be able to help miracle out with the extra movement speed they might be able to kill ace but he's been slowed down by the ghost shroud ace trying to keep uh one step ahead of him gh is going to be able to bring him back to base so at least our sven is going to get caught out by the three members of secret right in front of that tier three tower but it was not a stellar fight for liquid yeah in mid one absolutely full hp during that entire engagement ace was the target a choice for Liquid, but they were unable to do anything as now they make their second attempt. Charge in, bumps a couple of those heroes. GH trying to hide himself in the trees, but oh my god, there's so much damage from Fada. They actually take down this fan, and GH couldn't keep the tether alive because mid one and Puppy were zoning him out and even getting that kill. Liquid tried to defend without all of their heroes, and they're going to pay dearly for that. Not just the tier three, but now potentially a full lane of racks. A buyback from the Sven is going to be stopping things. Secret keep on hitting that melee rack. Now Puppy just lining it up right on top of Matum. Mana Rupture goes on to mid one. So maybe they think this is the better target here with a bounce back of the flame break. And if they could get a push or a pull or something, any sort of distance on mid one to let the rupture do a little bit more damage, maybe they could have gotten that kill, but they just don't find an open into the game. Liquid doesn't really have a lot working for them. 35,000 total net worth against the 50 of Secret. That is still a 10 second BKB though on both of their cores that they haven't been able to flash quite yet. And they could do God Strength plus Blood Rage on Miracle, was the, which is the potential for a lot of damage if Secret screw up their positioning. And Ace, I'm gonna walk up there the high ground. That smoke. Mind Control pops the Firefly. What's the initiation that they're looking for? They gotta drag somebody in deep. And fought and fought up and be a oh my god, Paxton just gonna blow up this fan. He's down for a minute and a half before Liquid can jump. Secret actually get the initiation first. Now they make the jump in and are gonna be able to get Fada, but it's a bit too late. They're only gonna make it a four versus four with Ace on top of them. Trying to finish off Kuro is gonna be able to bring down the Spirit Breaker. Now GH's next target going for oh, the no. Diffuse Blade. He's gonna be able to catch him. Matumba Man gets the silence onto the Juggernaut, but it's gonna be met by Midwan. Immediately disabled up, not gonna be able to do anything. A force staff buys a little bit more time, but so down by so many diffuser blade charges and is gonna go down to ace triple kill there secret have locked liquid inside of their fountain a minute left on the death timers of both the sven and the blood seeker secrets liquid space is pretty much all secrets they're gonna be able to take both mid lane and probably bottom lane yeah, and secret they want revenge for what happened to ti knocking liquid out their favorite patch right now so they're making their way bottom Charge on through. Okay, do? that's a good charge. Right as the after trying to jump forward, but they still managed to get the whiz kill. And Mind Control just doesn't have the damage to do a whole lot. Puppy gets another heal thanks to mid one, and it's going to be just enough to be able to get out of here. It seems like Curl is going to die on that back line. He tried to charge on through, but a bowling ball. He is not. Team Secret calmly chopping down the final tier three tower. A whole bunch of sorry he's being spammed out by Fada. He's about to knock his former team out of ESL1 Hamburg. Another stun comes out, but the top of the man does manage to get the BKB off in time, but just doesn't have the retting power to be able to stop this one. Now they manage to get the rupture plus the lasso, pulling him down, oh, down to now. half health, gets over to the shrine, but Ace is able to pop this man. He's just running after Mind Control. He's gonna be able to get the heal off, and he is good. My Miracle, okay, he's got his, never mind. But I managed to get off a little bit of decrep by action, delays his own death, he eventually does go down, but it doesn't stop the Mega Crease from being gotten by Team Liquid. Oh, finger death and Reaper Scythe from the edge there. Secret do manage to pick up yet another kill, but now they can just full on retreat. They've got Megas by 32 minutes. Yeah, they got one of the better heroes at dealing with Mega Creeps though, oh. in this map. By control, he tried to do uh, something a little cheeky, went way outside the base, tried to farm some of the enemy jungle, ends up getting caught by a uh, Built up 25k now by Secret. They're running down mid. Everyone joining suit. Rupture on Ace. Goes for the spin. Doesn't have a TP out. Liquid. Are going to try and go out there? Managed to get the charge off. Kuro gets turned around on instantly. Jesus. <laughs> Dagon makes short work of him. He didn't even have enough time to get the Reaper Scythe off. Yeah. That's how fast his death was. Now here we go. Mega. Your four towers are being pinged. 
Miracle can deal with the Megas. Can he actually deal with the heroes that are flooding in? Another stun, figure of death, no Reaper Scythe. Good defensive force staff coming out from Liquid. He's gonna be able to save that one. And now the pullback into the bottom, into the Onto the Necrophos, they're gonna be able to take him down pretty easily. And Miracle does do a lot of damage. He jumps forward onto Ace. They brought down both the tier fours. Miracle wants his vengeance though. He goes for Fauna in the back line. Does have a stun up coming in a second. One chop, two chop, that's all it really takes, but they managed to dodge out with a defensive force staff. And now into Crepify, he's gonna be able to live. And now Ace is able to jump in with a Hex. BKB gone from Miracle, allows him completely susceptible to Team Liquid. And that's it! Secret! They've done it! Completely jubilant as they managed to take down the Chi TI champs and are going to be heading to the finals of ESL 1 Hamburg. Oh, this must feel so sweet for them. It's been a long time coming for Puppy. The rest of his young squad hasn't experienced victory like this. As they move on to face VP in a best of three,